Hotel Room Inventory Management Hotel inventory management is the process of monitoring and carefully controlling our room inventory. Rooms are highly perishable, and a room not sold today, or sold at a lower rate, cannot be sold on the next day. Inventory control is to decide how many rooms to allocate to each of our channels, how early to restrict business and to accept business, from which market segment. If there are booking requests from two segments, and we only have enough rooms for one of them, we have to refuse rooms to someone. That will definitely affect relationship in the long run. A general manager may want to sell rooms as early as possible and then relax. But some of the most profitable business comes closest to the date of arrival and we have to take the risk of waiting for such business. Inventory management and financial success some segments will provide business throughout the year, while other segments will only give seasonal business. To succeed financially, it's important to balance short-term, high-yield business with long-term, low-yield business. Refusing business from low-yield guests could actually damage key relationships. Without these strong guest relationships, we may struggle to fill rooms and generate revenue in low-demand periods. Hospitality is a business based on emotions, as much as practicality. Inventory management and guest experience. Poor inventory management could also affect guest experience. If we accept all business, the hotel may end up overbooking, and as a result, we will need to walk a customer to another hotel, at our own expense. This can be a costly mistake and is likely to damage our relationship with these guests. What to consider when managing hotel inventory distribution opening and closing channels some channels require the hotel to pay high rate of commission whereas direct bookings cost very less but customers have their own habits and preferences and we have to accept that rooms are assigned to channels in direct proportion to the business generated in the past lead time when to accept bookings what is the lead time for customers who book through each channel? Historical data can help us understand our buyer's behavior and guide our decisions about when to accept low yield group bookings and when to wait. Overbooking, when to say no to bookings. Are we willing to take the risk of overbooking and bouncing overflows and in doing so upset a guest? Hotels never blindly overbook and now we shall study the three techniques of inventory control capacity management or selective overbooking duration control discount allocation or differential pricing capacity management or selective overbooking the overbooking is done to compensate for the losses that may happen because of cancellations no shows and understays the overbooking percent is related to the past data of cancellations no shows understays and turn aways in the same period over past two to three years overbooking is usually avoided for high priced rooms and room categories that are less in number the overflow from a low priced category can be upgraded and accommodated in a higher priced room this allows the guest to experience a better service at lower rates in future they may prefer to stay in the same higher priced room at best rates duration control a hotel has a very unique demand pattern sometimes totally sold out and sometimes as good as empty duration control or stay restriction are forced on new reservation in two ways minimum length of stay if a single date has very high demand but not on the dates just before or after it the hotel may put a condition that booking will be accepted only for a minimum of three days maximum length of stay if a booking requested will cross through a date that has not enough number of rooms available the hotel would put the condition that the booking will be accepted but for a maximum of only a few days excluding the heavy arrival date let us conclude this section with the concept of sell through a sell through strategy means that the hotel will accept a booking which passes through a date that is closed to arrivals 
Closed to arrival is a decision to not accept any bookings for a date which already has a very heavy booking, possibly from a group. Allowing a sell-through is for a highly profitable long-stay guest. Inventory control is the continuous juggling of the options in order to maximize the most profitable business for a hotel. We consider the overall revenue coming from each booking, as well as, the lifetime value of a guest. The future of hospitality is quite clear. Treat each guest as a unique market segment, and give tailor-made offerings, based on guest history. Discount allocation or differential pricing. Sometimes, in a flight, two passengers sitting beside each other may have paid very different rates. That is an example of differential pricing and it is used in hotels, cruise lines, cab service also. Discounts are to attract a segment to book during low demand period, or to sell the inventory, that would remain unsold, at higher rates. We accept a low yield business, because it helps us to generate extra revenue, so badly needed to cover, the high fixed costs. Once again, decision to discount is not a wild guess. We already have learned to identify, with the help of forecasting, the approximate demand from hotels high yield market segments. Discounted rates are offered to a lower value booking segments, only after keeping aside the rooms, for high value segments. Under no circumstances will a hotel sell at lose it rates. This minimum rate is set by the front office manager every day, and it is also called as the hurdle rate. This rate is set in all the channels, as well as the hotel PMS. Even walk-in guests, during the slowest demand period, must pay this rate.